Hey guys, and welcome back to another Gupti 556 video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a jet door. Um, in this, in Windows 10, they actually, Redstone works a little bit differently than in the normal PC version. I don't know why, but I guess it changed a little bit. So, I am going to show you how to build a jet door <coughs> from start to finish. So really, you're going to want to get pistons to start out with, because that's, you know, that's what, how you make a jet door. And so I'll grab some pistons, and then let me get, grab a little redstone. That's all I need. So really, you want to start out by placing your um, pistons. So they go two blocks away from each side of the door, or one block from, if the door is too wide, you, it goes one block away. So you want to place it like this. Now I, made, I dug this big cavern in this um, mountain here, as you can see. But the cavern doesn't have to be this big. I just dug it this big just so I could get a little bit of a higher view of what I'm doing. Okay, so then you have put another place, another piston. Whoops, right like that. And then in that you go your rock or whatever you want to put there. <coughs> okay, so I always build what well the roof and everything. So I'm gonna do that, and then the walls. And I'll place a torch in here. <coughs> there we go. Okay. So now to start out, really you want to place. Whoops. Fix that. You want you want to place blocks on top of all your pistons, so that you can place a redstone current on top of them. Now you can, what you do here is, if you just make it go at the same time. If you put a redstone thing down and make both go at the same time, the these pistons right here won't have a time to push out. They'll just push out your entire thing here. So you want to make them go later by pushing these out. Or sorry, I said that wrong. You want you want yeah, you want those ones to go and then that will be pushed out. So you make a redstone current like that. Now in the PC version, at least in 1.7.10, it can just work like that. The whole jet door, the whole jet door will just work like this. So if I go get a lever, <coughs> you'll see. You can place it. And you see it goes completely. Let me find a way out of here. See the top, the whole top goes. So, but now the bottom doesn't. So, I'm going to show you how to get the bottom to work. If you dig these out. Okay, so what you want to do <coughs> is you want to create a redstone trail from this down to that. So, what I do is I just build a stack. And then I bring the redstone current down and around. And it will attach to the pistons <coughs> on the bottom. And I do this on both sides. Whoops. So, yeah, <coughs> bring it down and hook it to the pistons. Whoops, I broke a piston. That was an accident. Let me fix that, fix that, put that back. <coughs> okay, so then you want to add that the redstone current to the pistons, to the blocks. <coughs> okay, now if you click this lever and you go outside, you'll see that... The, the, they do not extend there. Only those two do. So to make that extend, it's a little bit tricky. You gotta get a redstone current under here, but it can't just be any redstone current. You can't just place a torch under there and then place these back. That won't work. And I'll, I'll show you. If you turn it on, it'll make the whole door go. But when you turn it off, they'll be stuck there. So that's not gonna work. I break one of these these torches. <coughs> there we go. Get those out of the way. Okay. So what you want to do <coughs> is you want to make a redstone current from here down there. So I'll make I'm gonna make a trail here. You'll see, I'm going to make, you don't want these two to attach, those two different currents to attach. And you want to make sure they do not attach, because that could ruin 
your um, build. So, get a redstone trail going. I'll come down. Whoops. There, there we go. Now I'm going to add a repeater here so that the redstone trail continues. Whoops. Broke something. There we go. Okay, so make sure it works. Yep, there we go. So, place a torch here. Break that so I can get down there. And now I'm going to go down here and find out exactly where I am. By, I'm going to turn that off. Okay. So if I come down here, go to the sides, there's my opening. <coughs> so the, the trick to this is you basically want to make a a torch loop is what, what is what I call it. And how you do that is you place is your torches are gonna go here. So you place a block on top of that. And then you place your torches down. <coughs> and you want to dig down a little bit more. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna place a couple blocks and place torches on top of that and you'll see that makes it turn off. Then you want to bring your redstone trail down here and aim at that and you're going to have to do that to both sides. So, whoops, yeah, you're going to have to come around and do that to both sides. There we go. That'll work, I guess, right there. So you bring it over. So, yeah, and now what what will happen is since those ones are making the top ones turn off, you're going to come up and this red redstone trail here, you're going to want to put a repeater there and set it to four, same as these top ones, so that the bottom ones go after the, the middle ones. You'll see it's open right now. If I click this lever, it shuts completely and it opens up and it opens up completely. Now, I'm going to show you another trick that I have that if you are making a hidden base, you want to be able to close it from the inside. And that means you also got to have a lever on the outside. Well, I'll show you a trick. One, you can bring this redstone, this redstone trail right here. You can bring it out, really, anywhere, to where you want your redstone trail to be. So I'm just going to dig out straight here. There we go. Make a redstone trail. And I'm going to put a repeater so it doesn't the signal doesn't run out. Put a grass block. And let's say you just kind of stack and put it behind a tree or something like that. Now let's say that's your hidden lever. You hear the pistons go. Well, my, well the, my secret way of stopping that is, so let's say it's open. You come in here. Place a lever on that side. <coughs> and you turn it on, it'll shut the door, and you gotta make sure that's on. And this one will no longer work. You can see it's off, now it's on. The pistons aren't doing anything, and when it's off, they aren't doing anything either. So that's my that's a little secret. So you can leave it going. Or, you know, off is what it was. <coughs> then, then if you come in here, and you want to get out, you can just hit the lever, and it'll open up. And then you can come over to back to your secret lever, and shut it again. <coughs> so that is how you build a jeb door with a secret lock. Thanks for watching, and see you later.